Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss regarding biological carcinogenesis. So this biological carcinogenesis is nothing but the process of induction of cancer by biological agents. So what are biological agents? So biological agents are nothing but our microbes. And the what are, so we have so many number of microorganism which will have the ability to induce cancer. So among those uh, uh, various microorganism viruses are the most prominent ones uh, which will develop this cancer so we can so that means the process of induction of cancer by viruses is known as viral carcinogenesis or viral oncogenesis so even though viruses are the most common causes of cancer among all microbial agents so even there are some other microorganism such as parasites fungi and bacteria which will cause cancer suppose if you take parasites so cystosoma hematobium is one of the most uh, important example of parasite generally which will causes urinary bladder infection chronic infection with this cystosoma hematobium will result in the development of urinary bladder carcinoma and coming to the fungi so so if you see this fungi one of the most uh, well known uh, fungi which is known as aspergillus flavus which is grow which grows in the stored grains so we are all we will observe it whenever if you are eating any peanuts we will uh, feel a bitter taste because of the presence of this aspergillus flavus so this liberates a toxin called aflatoxin so upon human consumption so that humans will be at risk of hepatocellular carcinoma and the risk is much more if the individual is getting suffer from hbv infection that means hepatitis b viral infection and coming to bacteria so helicobacter pylori so simply we will call it as h pylori uh, which we discussed in our uh, peptic ulcer disease so this is a gram positive spiral shaped microorganism which colonizes in the gastric mucosa and lead to the development of gastric carcinoma so so now we will discuss regarding so even though there are um, several microorganisms apart from viruses so very rarely we will observe the development of cancer because of those microorganism but viruses are the most prominent ones so in the development of cancer so first we will discuss regarding this viral carcinogenesis in detail so viruses that has the ability to induce cancer are known as oncogenic viruses so oncogenic means so they will have the develop uh, so they will have the ability to uh, generate or to develop onco that means tumors so that's why we are calling them as oncogenic viruses so based on their nucleic acid component so these oncogenic viruses are, uh, fall into two broad categories one is dna oncogenic viruses as well as rna oncogenic viruses so in general uh, persistence of these dna oncogenic as well as the rna oncogenic viruses uh, will induce mutations but infection by these dna and the rna oncogenic viruses is not the solely that means is not the only step so it is not the only step in the development of cancer it is only one of the step in the multi step process of development of cancer and generally rna viruses will have a higher mutation rate than dna viruses which means so if an individual is getting suffered from uh, suffering from a chronic rna viral infection he will be at a great risk of developing cancers when compared to dna viruses since, since dna viruses will have a lesser mutation rate when compared to rna viruses in general persistence of dna and rna viral infections so these causes promotion of growth so activation of growth promoting pathways as well as inhibition of growth suppressor pathway so up to now we said uh, there are both dna viruses as well as rna viruses which will have the ability to induce cancer and we are calling them as oncogenic viruses and what are the major differences between this dna and as well as rna oncogenic viruses is so dna viruses in dna viruses we will observe a double stranded dna but in case of rna viruses we will observe a single stranded rna and in case of uh, dna viruses we will observe nitrogen based pairs such as adenine cytosine guanine and thiamine but whereas in case of rna viruses we will observe adenine cytosine guanine and uracil and the sugar moiety in case of dna viruses is nothing but deoxyribose and in case of rna viruses is just a ribose and it is so dna viruses are present so dna viruses 
uh, DNA of the DNA virus location is the nucleus, but in case of RNA virus, it is present in nucleus as well as the cytoplasm. And so, this is so in this slide, we are going to discuss regarding a mode of DNA viral oncogenesis, the process how a DNA viruses will induce cancer. So, host cells which are infected by DNA oncogenic viruses may have one of the two following mechanisms one is replication and the second one is integration. So, replication is nothing but so whenever a cell got infected with the DNA viruses, so DNA virus, so in that host cell the DNA virus will undergo replication and it will cause the death of the host cell and more number of viruses will come out of that uh, host cell. That means uh, DNA virus will get replicated within the host cell and by causing the cell membrane damage so all those replicated viruses will come out. So that is one is the replication and the second one is integration. So in some cells which are non-replicative. So, whatever the DNA viruses which is there, so the either DNA virus and will go and integrate with the host cell DNA and forms uh, some uh, that means some uh, mutations and causes some damage or it will get so it will cause some damage to the DNA which results in mutations. So, replication results in the cell death and integration results in mutations in the DNA and the mode of DNA viral oncogenesis that means so it is the process how DNA viruses will induce cancers in the host cell so whenever a cell got infected with a DNA virus so whatever the nucleic uh, content that means whatever the uh, DNA content which is there in that cell that means which is there in that virus will get entered into the host cell cytoplasm after getting entering into the host cell cytoplasm with the help of an enzyme called dna integrase so with the help of the enzyme called as dna integrase so that ho that viral dna which is there will get integrated into the host cell dna so when so now we have a host cell DNA that means the viral DNA integrated host cell DNA in our host cell so it is not the normal DNA so that is not the normal human DNA so it is a DNA which was it is a human DNA which was integrated with the host cell DNA and whenever if the host cell is replicative in nature at the time so from that uh, oh, he, that means viral DNA integrated host cell DNA so there will be formation of uh, viral RNA and which is followed by viral proteins and which results in the development of more number of viruses and whenever those virus the virus got replicated within the cell after formation of more number of viruses so those viral so those viral particles which are there by da by causing by causing some damage to the host cell they will come out which results in host cell death so here we won't observe any formation of uh, tumor cells but if the cell is non-replicative in nature that means if the cell is not uh, having the ability to replicate so at the time that host cell whatever the viral DNA which is there it will go and integrate with the host cell human DNA and form such some mutations so and whatever the mutations which was happened so though if those mutations or related to oncogenes, anti-oncogenes and apoptosis regulatory genes. So then we will observe the, the formation of a cancer cell and it will get, so it will progress as a tumor. And coming to the next slide. So this slide will discuss about the mode of vir RNA viral oncogenesis. So up to now we discussed regarding the mechanism of DNA viral oncogenesis and here we are going to discuss regarding RNA viral oncogenesis. So we already said RNA virus will have a single standard RNA so in this in its uh, that means in its code. So this single uh, along with this single standard RNA so there will be presence of an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. So I think we are all uh, know regarding this transcription process that so transcription process generally happens 
from DNA to RNA. So from DNA to RNA and whatever the RNA which is there which is read by the ribosomes and those ribosomes will synthesize protein substances. But so here the RNA is having single so that RNA virus is having single two single strands of RNA along with that they are having an enzyme called reverse transcriptase which is a very 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 important enzyme. So the name itself it is reverse transcription it will reverse the transcription process generally transcription process has to happen from dna to rna but here whenever that rna virus got entered into the host cell whatever the reverse transcriptase which is there so that reverse transcriptase will convert that rna into dna and whatever the dna which was formed from that reverse transcriptase so with the help of the enzyme viral integrase dna viral integrase it will get entered into so the human DNA which forms viral DNA integrated human DNA which is followed by the formation of mutations. So if those mutations happens in oncogenes or anti-oncogenes or apoptosis regulatory genes which results in the formation of a tumor. And so here we can see uh, some of those uh, DNA oncogenic viruses as well as RNA oncogenic viruses. Uh, so in our next slide we can see those uh, RNA oncogenic viruses. So and what are all the different types of cancers uh, which may develop so upon chronic exposure, upon chronic infection with those uh, DNA as well as RNA oncogenic viruses. And some of the example of those DNA viruses, HP, so Papova viruses, we will call it as Papova viruses, Papilloma virus. Polio, so polioma virus and simian fac, so simian vacuolating virus, SV40 virus, PAPOVA virus, papilloma, polioma, simian vacuolating viruses. So these are PAPOVA viruses, which are known as DNA oncogenic viruses, and all herpes viruses are DNA oncogenic viruses, adenovirus, polymyxovirus, so sorry, pox viruses, and HEPA DNA viruses, which are also known as hepatina viruses. So these are all the different examples for DNA oncogenic viruses. And coming to RNA oncogenic viruses, so these are so there are several categories of this RNA oncogenic viruses. One is acute transforming viruses such as so rose sarcoma virus and leukemia sarcoma virus, and slow transforming viruses such as uh, mouse mammary tumor viruses. Apart from these uh, acute transforming viruses as well as slow transforming viruses, we have uh, human T cell lymphotropic viruses such as HTLV1 and HTLV2, and Hepatitis C virus, HCV virus. So these are all the different oncogenic viruses which are there. So which will have the ability to induce cancer. So thank you.